three minutes and go. It's been a long couple days. I just finished getting back from Disneyland with Mini Mini. And uh, I'm really proud of him. He did a lot of big boy rides. He went on Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Goofy's Flying School. Uh, we were at DCA today. And uh, he even, you know, he wanted to stay for World of Color, but I said, hey, it's past both our bedtimes. We'll have to do it on the weekend. And, uh, but I said, we can stay as late as you want. And, uh, you know, he told me around four o'clock that he was tired. He's ready to go home. So we came home, you know, and luckily Sam, the pool man, if you need an above ground pool guy or even an in ground pool guy, he is just a great guy. Like he comes, he's helping set up the filter, which is the last stage. So we get that all dialed in and it'll be summertime. Uh, you know what I was thinking? A couple of PSAs. One, deodorant is not an option at a public place such as Disneyland. I, I get some people have some reactions and stuff like that, but find something that works. Because when the rest of the world has to smell you, it's not a good look. And two, I'm really grateful that I got me and kids passes because you could see some of the parents, like they were, the kids were struggling because it was cold at first and it was hot and it was super packed today. I mean, it took me almost 40 minutes just to get in the parking lot. But... Uh, like you could tell these people with the whole reservation system, everything like they were in it because they had no other option. Like they made the reservation that day. They were going to be there all day, no matter what, from open to close. And you could see some of the kids, you know, were getting cranky and all that. And I just really had, I really was really grateful that I could tell my son like, Hey, whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, we can go. You know, we don't have to stay all day. We don't have to try every ride. It's all about whatever you want to do. It was was one-on-one time with him, which was super cool. And I was grateful for it, uh, you know. And, you know, six months to a year ago, uh, that wouldn't have been an option because I would have just been so caught up in the hustle and bustle of trying to get ahead. So, you know, what made me grateful about it is we had a, a day full of adventures and core memories. And even though it took us... Three tries to get on uh, Toy Story Mania because it kept shutting down and we finally got through the ride. We even got to go through cars and these are all rides that he normally wouldn't ride unless he had a friend with him. And that was more because he, you know, he wanted to, you know, show that he could do it. And today he was like, no, dad, like he went on uh, Gardens of the Galaxy, which was a big deal. So it was a cool day. So in a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's the only thing that's free and is priceless to the person you're kind to. I promise we'll change the world one random act of kindness at a time. Have a good day. Three minutes and out.